Hey guys, it's Sweet Alina and the Sweet Fridays. Today we will be making watermelon rice crispy treats. The things you'll need will be some butter, some watermelon flavored gelatin, some marshmallows, and some rice crispy. So let's get started. First, you're gonna put three tablespoons of butter. I've already cut that. As you can see, it's right here. You're gonna put three tablespoons of butter. Okay, so after you've put that in, what you're gonna do after, after is you're gonna put three tablespoons of watermelon gelatin. But first you're gonna put this in the microwave for 25 seconds. Okay, so as you can see, it's already melted. I'm just gonna mix it a little bit just in case there are any more butter chunks in here. Okay, so now you're gonna put in your watermelon flavored gelatin. So you're just gonna put in three tablespoons of watermelon gelatin. One. Two. for 15 seconds. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's finished. I'm just gonna mix it, just for a little bit, cause I guess you can see there's still a little bit of watermelon left. So I'm gonna scrape all of it that I can get and just mix it all together. And now we're going to put in 10 ounces of marshmallows. And now we're going to put it in the microwave for 45 seconds. This is what it's gonna look like. I'm just gonna mix it a little bit. It's gonna be kind of sticky. So, I'm just gonna keep doing it. Okay, so now you're gonna put in four cups of the Rice Krispies. So this is two cups. Two more. So So this is four. And now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna mix it all together until you see that it's mixed perfectly. So it'll look like the marshmallows and the rice krispies are together like a little rice krispie treat. Okay, so now we put it in. So now we're gonna put it in the pan. Okay, so you're just gonna pour all of it inside the pan. Just gonna grab all of it. The trick that my mom showed me is that yeah, is that I dip four fingers or my finger, my hand in 
inside a bowl of water and it's easier to just press it down and that way your hands don't get sticky. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just gonna press this part a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, that's what it's gonna look like. And now you're gonna let it cool for about a few minutes, probably a day, because that's how much I left it from. And then we're just gonna put this aside. And I've already cut, um, and I'm gonna cut a piece right here. Because I made one ahead of time. So let's try it. So yummy. Thanks guys for watching this video. Leave me a comment down below and I'll see you next Friday. Bye!